This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a video topic that I want to do a little while back, and that is the Kodak Ektar H35 versus a Fuji disposable camera. A lot of you seem to have really enjoyed the review of this camera, and if you want to watch it, the link is right over here or over here. So go ahead and click on that if you want more in depth of what this camera can do. I recently started hanging out with the manager of my film lab. Shout out to Ben Yi at 35M Pro. And he says that there are a lot of disposable camera orders that have been coming through it this past summer. And disposable film cameras are a lot of fun. In fact, the last three weddings that I attended, each table was provided with a film camera from the wedding couple. And they're awesome for their simplicity, ease of use, and the look that they provide. But this camera, the Ektar H35, doubles the mileage of those things, plus it provides a pretty similar look. And the best part is that you don't have to throw this away after you're done with a roll of film. You get to load up whatever you want and get 72 shots, so it's better for the environment. So for today's test, I went out to the Getty with my friends Austin and Kaylee and I rocked Portra 160 in this camera and they were rocking a Fuji disposable and we had a nice fun day just taking pics for fun. Oh yeah, and just a heads up, the Fuji disposable only gives you 27 exposures and I have 72. So you're gonna see a lot more photos from my camera and I'll be doing a diptych, which is like taking two photos that'll show a part one and a part two of a story. And the photos are naturally vertical when I'm holding this camera horizontally because it is a half frame camera. Lately, I just say I'm out of town. Cause I don't really care to be around. I've been making up for my mistakes. I've been through a lot, I need a break. More life, never call wrong place at the wrong time. I ain't had no chicken in a long time. I ain't seen my youngin in a fortnight. So good, you wanna see? I don't trust you if you tell me that you don't like Asking how I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing fine, don't you know? Huh? You can't go up there You have to go across And then down the steps You're not playing there Oh, she won. Know the foolish always grow wise. Cape Town with the camfo. We don't play around. Grandma was on that slave. What is that? Yeah? She in Rome now. USA be on a bullshit. Better go now. Hey, homie, why you stressing? We got one foot in the grave. Brother, get your money. Get your ass up on a plane. Why you with this woman if you know she playing games? Why you with this? If he treats you like you lame, let go. You ain't gotta hold on. Okay. No more. Girl, you gotta let go. Let go. You ain't gotta hold on. No more. If you got a good thing, go for it. We ain't with the bad things. No more. 10 and this is 35 Synchron Spherical version 2. Um, I think it's a good way of creating my film shots on the real thing. Fuck your opinion. I was doing good without it. I've been living, I've been minding my business. If you don't fuck with it, don't listen. If you don't like the smell, then get the fuck out the kitchen. We cooking soul food. The game different, you still living by the old rules. What I look like following fools that don't move. How you tell somebody not to go and live their own truth? You can't please everybody. Too afraid to disappoint anybody. Proceeded to disappoint everybody. Truth is they don't know shit. They trying to fuck with you cause they ain't sure they own shit. 
But when you going strong, they watching and they gon' front like they fucked with you all along Like they knew you had it and they believed in you way before In that moment, you just gotta accept it and move along And pat yourself on the back for staying up on your cause It's a marathon, if she said I remember rapping palm tree for 50 heads Smoking sour diesel on a city ledge Now I'm trying to do the same shit for my real life Trust my gut more, give a fuck what you feel like Love the one I love, make babies if I want Write a song cause it's fun and go strong till I'm done Do good for my young team Take life as it come, laugh loud when I'm drunk, have a good life, yeah. Okay, go. Comment down below, are you guys New Balance folks? Or are you guys Nike folk? 327. And these are the Sakai's in cool gray. I think that's what they're called. And they make us both taller. That's true. All right, so we were out in the Getty for a really long time. Comment down below on which look that you liked more, the disposable camera or the Ektar camera. But at the end of the roll for me, I started just blasting off random photos and I got this pot of gold. <laughs> Oh my god, it's not funny. <laughs> But before we head out, I need to thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is a beautiful all-in-one website builder that you could use to create an online photography portfolio. It's really easy to pick and choose a template to be your new home for your work. I picked the Avenue template because I've always been a fan of the grid layout, and now there's a new home for my all-time favorite Wyoming photos. Squarespace makes it really convenient to upload and rearrange photos to your choosing with live updates, and if you ever hit a problem, you can contact their 24-7 customer service to get you going again. You can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash Chris Chu. Use my code Chris Chu at checkout for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So here are a couple of my concluding thoughts. I kind of hated how some of the photos came out blurry. So this camera is fixed at a shutter speed of 1 100th, which is plenty for eliminating regular hand camera shake. But I think because the camera is so light and when I'm pressing down the shutter really hard, I'm accidentally pushing the camera down as it's taking a photo, thus making it a little bit more blurry and consequently frustrating me. I personally like the photos out of the Fuji disposable compared to the Ektar H35 camera. But the thing is, is that the Fuji disposables are not exactly cheap anymore. So the half frame camera comes in at $50 a pop. So you can do your quick math of like, which is more economical for you. But I know that some people are intimidated by the fact that there are 72 photos that you have to get through for that camera versus 27 or 36 from the disposables. So that's something to keep in mind if that does kind of affect how you use these film cameras, because you know, it is a little bit intimidating if you feel like you can't finish a roll that fast. Even though I like the Fuji photos more, the Kodak photos were not that bad. Like the lens on there, is completely plastic and so is the disposable but the disposable is a little bit better but it's it's the look that you're going for you're not really having this on the wall of a gallery or anything so my final concluding thoughts are get the fuji camera if you want that little bump in quality and you want to get your pictures back faster because the roll is a little bit shorter or you could go with the kodak camera if you want more bang for your buck and more mileage out of each roll of film plus you get to choose what gets to go in the camera and personally speaking the xr h35 looks better plus there's more color options that you could pick from all right, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe for your health, comment down below and like this video, and I will see you in that next one. Peace.